Yo, what up, my people? And welcome back to another video. It's your boy <laughs> Radical. Now, um, I'm gonna let you watch this video right quick, and then I'm gonna go give you guys my take on it. All right, let's go. It's exclusive. You're about to see some most disturbing video. A young boy with autism just involved in a vicious beating on the subway. And yes, what you're seeing is a 15 year old getting hit while so many others are just pointing their cameras and recording what's happening. No one raised a hand to help. So who would do this and why? And why didn't someone try to stop this? Anthony Carlo live in Washington Heights, exclusively talking to the boy's mom. Anthony. Well, Bill, Sade, some commuters told us they just wish they had been here to intervene, while others said, honestly, they'd be too afraid to. That 15-year-old boy with special needs stood home from school today after being beaten up on the subway on Friday. And that video, just tough to watch for anyone, especially the boy's mother. This disturbing video shared to social media appears to show a young girl dragging this 15-year-old boy by his sweater inside a subway station. <laughs> shouting while a pack of kids follow, cursing and using racial slurs. I have not seen the video. I refuse to watch that video. Nobody wants to see their kid being assaulted. The boy's mother, who spoke to us exclusively, not wanting to show her face for fear of their safety, can't bear to watch as her son tries to escape his attackers on the northbound A train at West 181st Street and Fort Washington Avenue. <laughs> Ultimately surrounded and pummeled in the face multiple times. This is the first time it hit me, like hit me directly. I always see it happen to other people. I never see it happen to me in my household. So it's horrible. Even more so because the defenseless 15-year-old has high-functioning autism, his mother tells Eyewitness News. Police are now looking for these three suspects. The attack happened during the rush hour commute, 5.30 Friday evening. And that boy needed stitches for a busted lip, but his mother says it's the mental impact she's most concerned about. She says her son doesn't know his attackers or why they would attack him. NYPD hate crimes is now looking into this because of all the anti-black slurs. All right, cool. So you guys seen that video. Now, let me just say um, a couple of things. First of all, I thought that was an old incident that happened. In reality, it's not. Um, I was confused by there was another video that was also going around around on Twitter. No, this is actually pretty uh, new. These uh, individuals have not been caught and I am going to go out on the limb and say that this was a uh, somewhat of a racial thing due to the, you know, anti-blackness that they were spewing out. But this is a thing that a lot of people have not seen or whatever the case is. So I did a little bit more digging and I ended up finding out one of the people that was part of the attack was actually victimized by you know a group of black juveniles and this is the report right here that they began to punch him or whatever and, and and beat him up and all that other stuff he went to the hospital got some stitches and stuff so that happened maybe like maybe like around like a, like a month ago so i'm gonna go out on the limb and say maybe it was a mistaken identity or whatever the case is because this individual this autistic kid first of all it should have never happened but this autistic kid was targeted if you guys see the whole original video, this autistic kid was targeted out of nowhere. Now I'm going out on the limb and just saying that it was it was probably because the, one of the kids already got beat up and he somewhat fit the, the the description of his memory or whatever the case is. I have no idea. These kids are still being, you know, th these kids are still out. They haven't gotten caught yet. You know, then they should definitely go to jail and, and definitely face some um, hate crimes. But the thing, the thing is that there's also more to the story that we also have to figure out. Now, the fact that these, these little thug ass, little beaners, <laughs> little thug ass beans, right. Uh, are coming out here and just attacking kids out of nowhere. No, where are, where are the parents? Where are the parents of these individuals? Where are the parents of these kids that's actually out here saying, no, yo, what are y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? This, this is, I bet you $100 because it's a gang. That's what it is. It's just a little, you know, Latino gang. I bet you $100 all three of them got no dad in their house. I bet you $1,000 they got no dad in their house. They got no guidance. So what ends up happening is they're going to end up in the streets doing and committing more crimes. I hope these kids actually get caught. 
Because once they do get caught, there's going to be some justice that's going to be ser served. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I hope you guys liked the video. Probably agree, disagree with me. Let me know in the comment section. I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace.